goes around his mind. That's a ball. Oh, what a great effort. Talk about hitting on the right. Wonderful. There you go. Macclesfield 2, Oxford 1. Survival guarantee. 52 points. We live to fight again. The smallest club in the league. The team with the lowest gates. The team that people constantly say will be relegated. And here we are. We live to fight again. A team that's in the black. Back to the drawing board for late Orient manager Martin Ling, who was appalled by his team's defending. Matthew Tipton put Macclesfield ahead. A brilliantly taken goal five minutes before half-time. Tipton showing why last season he scored 19 goals in a struggling team. Orient were pushing hard for an equaliser and taking risks when they allowed John Parking to get free and to make it 2-0 with just over 15 minutes remaining. It was a good finish by Parkin, the striker signed from York City back in February. Witherington with a quick free kick to Tipton. He's got space to shoot. Oh, excellent stop from Scott Howick. But, uh, wet and dewy on uh, Tuesday night. He needed the towel to dry it, but not today. Headed away again, that's a powerful one. On as far as Witherington, he tries to search out Bailey. Ball bounces. Bailey gets around his defender. Can he get the measured cross? It's one day pass. Bargain. Chucky! Oh, the big man does it again. Fitz can't see. Anyway, here's Danny Whitaker as they plow forward. Finds Tipton. What a fitting end this would be. Come on, oh, Tipton! Oh! He nearly got it too. What a great, great shot. Michael Briscoe stinging the palms of debutant Dimi Kanskantopoulos. They didn't take heed of the warning though, and minutes into the second half. It's going to go near post. Oh, he's going long, my apologies. Up goes Wells, go, go, well taken. Hey, well dropped. Foul, I think. Foul on the keeper. No, they're not looking. It's as far as Crosby. Chested down and controlled well by Hayes. Oh, this could be trouble for Matty. Here's Matty Sparrow. Oh, he's done it. Well, from one end to the other, Matt Sparrow. Register NSL 66A. Over the top by Bailey. Parked on London Road outside the main stand. Please move it as soon as possible. Thank you. Whitaker tries to win the corner. Oh, he's got away from his defender. Come on. Good chance. Yes! Barkley! What all? Danny Whitaker did all the hard work. Drill the ball along the six yard box. Barkley missed it. And it was an easy finish for Harsley. First of the season. 44 minutes gone. Mattersfield won. Scunthorpe won. Hayes burst forward. He's got round Barris. Left him for dead. Square ball. Come on. Well done, Michael Welch, who has not dealt with it. It's come square here. It's. Oh, it's goal. Oh, Hayes it is. Set up there. Set up by Lee Ridley. Parkin and, Rid and Butler in a tussle. It burst free for Tipton. Sharon's made a run towards the edge of the six-yard box. Needed a better ball, Matty. He's got it now. Yes! Oh! Thought he was in. Here's one for Bailey, but I think Butler's going to get there. Oh, Bailey's got there now. It was a mistake by Butler. Decent cross. Is anybody back? Both penalty, surely. Barking went up for the head. A great cross from Mark. Tipton runs in. Whistle blows. Oh! Well done, Matty Tipton. Muscle White goes to his left. The ball goes to his right. And the scoreboard reads. Mattersfield 2. Scunthorpe 2. With John Parkin. Here's one for Sharon! Oh! Off the 
post. Off the post. Fetish beating all ends up. Yeah, tough game. It comes back post. It goes Bailey. Hammered it in from about eight yards. Tommy Widrington in a tussle five yards up. Back to Welsh. Keeps it low. Finds John Miles into the feet of Darlington. Edge of the D. In for Miles. Come on, John. Little chip must score. Another chance. Oh, dear me. It's 12 yards ahead of him. He in turn plays it square to Tipton. Can we get a decent cross in? Over it comes. Back post. It goes Bailey. Oh, what a great goal. Oh, Mark Bailey. First goal for the club. Tipton searched him out. Ball in field, finds Parkin, he's gone over, manages to flick it back, tipped him oh, yeah. with a strike! Oh, ho, ho, ho. well, all the 35 yards, I tell you, he really got hold of it. And uh, Fleming, it was an easy win. Well, oh, Little's missed it, he's gone over the top, tipped him in this left-hand corner, decent cross needed, come on, Parkin! Great save! What a great save! To chest it, or head it, he, do, he chests it, find, come on, John Parkin, make a name, Whoa. Here's one for Widrington. Danny Whitaker finish it off, Danny! Oh, well, Dan went wrong. Miles, Widrington, back to Miles. Night ball, he's found Tipton, come on, Tippy! Oh, should have done better, shouldn't he? So, Welsh with a kick again. Is this a better one? Parkin gets a foot to it. Tip to it! Oh, well done. Left foot, got a deflection on the way in. Hamilton never had a prayer. Parkin it was, played it square. And a first time snapshot from Tipton, left footed. Little deflection. Long ball from Welch. Tipton gets around the back. Come on, Tippy. Bailey's gone with him, needs some help, I think. Gets it in field. Well played by John Miles. Come on, John. Round the back post. Go on, shoot! Oh! No Bailey for the long throws, of course, now that he's been substituted, but uh, Harsley is who's got the throwing duties on this near side. Looks for support, finds it with Parkin. Gets around his man. Come on, John. Good. Oh, he should have done better. He did the right thing. He... Here's Davis. Back to O'Hare. Allison, a little bit of push in the back from Welsh. Over he goes. Oh, he snaps. The Siltman have never gained a point at Gig Lane, but they've started this contest, this local derby, in impressive fashion with Parkin. And now Whitaker. And here's Tipton to give them the lead. The Siltman are in front. Whitaker, Macclesfield dominating these early stages. Still Danny Whitaker, and he gets his shot away. Parkin, down for Miles. Can he beat Garner? Oh, he's just defeated the post as well. He went under his foot. It's Parkin. He's got away. Bad to lose their unbeaten home league record. It came when Terry Skiverton managed to put the ball in the wrong net. It gave Macclesfield the lead. Paul Harsley's cross looked innocent enough, but Skiverton had one of those moments that defenders just dread. Mind you, he wasn't helped by the inclement Somerset weather. A truly excellent individual goal from a man who's normally more of a provider than a scorer leveled things. Darren Way dramatically making it 1 1. Having created the space, Way found the one spot keeper Alan Fettis just couldn't get to. The Silkman picked up only their second away win of the season when John Parkin's seventh league strike of the campaign confirmed the victory. It's back to back defeats now for the Glovers, but a real morale booster for everyone at Macclesfield. There's Tipton, he's having a shot! Ooh, well, 
That was a long raking ball out from Tipton, right footed, got plenty of meat on it. So when he's on the right side, the swinger, when he's on the left side, the swinger. One arm up again, presumably going long. So it seems, and he got more, Barris! Great header, headed to Cambridge. On the left hand side with a corner in swinging. Up they go. Oh, he scored. Well, it was poor defending, and now he's got it. But Easter, we said he was going to be the threat. We thought he would be a threat with his feet. And it tipped in 18 yards for the shot. Oh, well, Ruddy did very well. And about 15 yards in from the touchline. Harsley with a free kick. Round about the penalty spot. They got a head down on it. But that, oh, must be a penalty. He's got to go. He's got to go. It's tipped it. Well, but that goal came out of a good ball from the free kick from Harsley. It was nodded down. Not too powerfully. Ruddy made a bit of a hash of it. It squirmed free. Tipped and tried to get a foot on it. Looked as if it might have been impeded. I thought there could have been a penalty. But Tipton was alert enough to just get a second stab. into Ch Sharon, Sharon's got inside the box, the square ball to Tipton, oh he didn't get enough on it, another chance for Tipton, hits the post, well, it is, he's going to be out swinging, oh it's an own goal, oh no it's not, it's Tony Barris, Tony Barris came in, they lost him, pushes it away, finds Whitaker. Whitaker, little ball, 25 yards, finds Sharon, and Sharon finds Potter who's motoring down this left side, good cross coming in, Good parking, get on the end, yeah! Has he given the goal or is it a foul? I'm just looking, now he's awarded it. Because it looks like a little push, good ball in from Potter, super move. Parking it was, he got on the end of it. Defender just lost him a little bit. Parking wins the tussle, heads it in field to Sharon. Sharon finds Tipton, come on Tippy! Yeah! Three goals to nil. Well, it was a well taken free kick. Fet as it was, knocked it some 50 yards, headed down by Park into the feet of Sharon. Sharon laid the ball just out to his right to Tipton, who was making a diagonal run into the 18 yard box. <laughs> Whittington pushes the ball, Tipton! Ooh, into the side netting. Mantlesfield push on, they're in the Mansfield half. Harsley on this near side. Pushes on in, in field, finds Sherrod. Goes for a one two. Can Sherrod get on the end of it? Come on, Mike! Oh, the goal! Fuck it! They look for the offside, they're not going to get it. Great move, Harsley it was. Harsley picks it up, throws it to Weaver. Weaver. Pinches five yards, moves forward. Finds Parkin with his throw. He finds Miles, and Miles pushes it onto Parkin. Parkin with a great opportunity for three. Oh, he's missed it. One on one with the keeper. You may well put your head in your hands. Uh, so it's game. The pressure was on. Free kick. Knocks it in. Oh, off the defender against the corner of the post. Hacked away. Tipton again. Potter breaks in, and it's uh, cleared away by uh, the Mansfield defence.
Drummond, that's a goal. To the right of him as Navarro moves it to McKenzie. He has room to shoot the Mansfield Town player, Neil McKenzie, on his debut. Tipton has an opportunity to score on his recall and does. Matthew Tipton's first goal in three months after he picked up the captaincy during the week. He's responded with a goal inside 15 minutes. That's good football from the Siltman. McKenzie now goes long for Tipton. He was getting touched, but he's been allowed to play on despite the foul. Tipton looking round for the options that are there. Billy Jones is the player in front, but still Tipton goes on and no fans parking. And it's two for the Siltman. Oh, he's the king of the Moss Rose this season. John Parkett with another priceless strike that surely gives the Silverman now their first success of 2005. But there's a rare set piece for them here. It nearly found its way through for Dave Morley. Harsley back in, looking for Parkett. It's cleared off the line, but did it cross? Well, there's nothing from the line. Keats. Beardsley. His first effort is blocked. And the second one gives up possession to McIntyre, who would have been clear. He couldn't really argue. And in fact, it's Lee Good to be back to winning weight. Yeah, it was. It was Tippy brought it down and finished it well, brought him back into the side. He was at the side with a little bit of... He had a nasty knock at Mansfield and he was out for a little while and not training and, and everybody thought he'd been dropped and everything. But I brought him back today and he looked sharp and he's made a second goal for Parkey as well. So it wasn't really a case of him being out of form? What I've said to them is now the squad looked very strong today. You know, some of the young lads that have been playing have... have completely been out of the squad today, but it looked a, a stronger bench, yeah. uh, looked a much stronger outfit, and uh, I think that's what that's what we've lacked. We've had... Uh, Alan Fettis has been injured, that was his first game back, and he's been out injured for a little while, um, not been training fully, thought he looked very assured today. Been without Bailey, Barris, Payne, you know, McKenzie. You can't miss three or four key players at this level, but I thought, I thought we looked a much stronger outfit today and delighted with the three points. In new signings, what were your thoughts on Danny Swales? And yeah. Well, yourself. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, I started off obviously. The manager gave me the captaincy. Tom Virginson's left, and then um, got a goal early on. Uh, pleased that, and pleased all around performance. Set up a goal as well, so it's uh, been a good day all round. You, you're saying that quite nonchalantly, but it was a good finish. I to be honest, I can't really remember. I know it was a long ball, and I've, uh, I've spun, I spun the centre half, gambled that I'd beat him, and I've uh, managed to bring it down. And I think it was bouncing a bit, and just know that I've managed to knock it, just knock it past the keeper. And it's been a difficult few months for you. Yeah, yeah, it has been. Yeah, it's been hard, you know, in and out of the team and injury and one thing or another. But, you know, I've just kept my head down, worked hard and got my place back today, uh, playing up front like I wanted to. Just just tell us a bit about the injury that happened at Mansfield. Yeah, I just uh, took a bad knock to my foot and obviously just couldn't shake it off. It was badly bruised and uh, the pain wasn't going. It was getting worse and worse. I went to hospital, diagnosed as tendonitis. Uh, I needed complete rest. but. Uh, the manager said he couldn't afford to give me a complete rest. He'd need me uh, to just go on the bench for the odd half an hour or whatever. So I, I said fine. So I've been basically doing that for the last, uh, well, two months. So you've been playing really <laughs> half fit? Well, yeah, well, not even half fit. You know, some days I've not been able to walk, um, whatever, when I've been getting up. But I've managed to dig in and battle on through and obviously got my place back today. And hopefully they're to stay now. I see you having a chat with Mr. Laws throughout the game and pointing out that you're the captain now. So yeah, we'll yeah you have to. You know, um, I'm. You know, I think that's one of the reasons I'm probably one of the most uh, boisterous players in our team, and I will have a word with the ref anyway. And most of the refs kind of know me now. I've played a few hundred games, so I think it's just you know one of them things you have to be on at the ref to get your point of view across for the fouls on the big man and whatever. I think it's a uh, it's a good job for me. Similar to Alex Ferguson. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can mourn a bit more than him, I think. <laughs> The playoffs seem... Looks like... 
And McIntyre with the corner left footed in deep to the back post. Look at Swales. And have they scored. Battlesfield 1 0. Was there a little deflection there? Well, they're all patting the head of uh, Swales, but uh, I have a feeling that Tipton might have just got a bit of a nudge. Well, Tipton's celebrating. Deep into the Notch County half. Well won. Tipton again lays it back. Notch County at sixes and sevens at the moment. The Matlesfield retain possession. Work it down his left hand side. Good control. In comes a big man. It's parking. Can he get around the keeper? Oh, he's all confused. Oh, he's got a left foot on it and he's nailed it. Two goals to nil. Well done, job parking. Accepts the uh, congratulation of his teammates. He's got a big smile on his face. Two goals to nil. Notts County trying to recover from this 2-0 deficit. Little ball in. Can he just turn the defender? Mattersfield get hold of the ball. Deep clearance. One for Parking to chase. Can he get around the defender? Shoves him off. Oh, whoa, what a great strike. Well, the goalkeeper did well to get out of the way of that one. Three goals to nil. Easy. Mattersfield in the ascendancy. Parking and Tipton. McIntyre with a kick, left footed. Oh, through. <laughs> well, Michael Welch, where did he come from? Four goals to nil. It's a romp for Matlesfield. Well done to the big guy. He doesn't score many. Corner. Oh, that's a poor one. Headed away by Potter. Tipton races away. Defence try to cover, but he's still ploughing on. Little ball in. Well, what happened to that? Oh, that's a nasty slice. Whitaker. Oh, well, he, well, he was pulled to the ground, surely. Parking could be the uh, hat trick king if he can put this one away. Tipton having a word. Tipton, of course, missed his previous one. Here comes Parking. Can he make it three? He makes it three and he makes it five. 20 goals to the season. Well done, big jump, Parking. Well done, Matlesfield. Tire with a set piece. Everybody's forward for it. Bar Carragher. Parkins the highest, and John Parkin sees his effort cleared off the line. They pile many bodies into the area. Woodthorpe, Fitzgerald, and Challoner all in motion. As the ball comes along for Challoner, and then it's flicked in by Kazim Richards for a second, it seemed, until a fantastic stop from Fettis. comes to his feet and there's no flag as Tipton goes through can he win the derby at the death Matthew Tipton looks behind a fight Parkin! John Park is 21st goal of the campaign oh doesn't he have the key to Silverman's heart this season what a time to score in the final minute of the derby he wins the contest for Macclesfield yeah obviously uh, on a personal note every goal is important personally and as a team, it's uh, we've won. But it's been the trademark finish this season. Uh, yeah, it was a little tapping for me. Uh, obviously, Tippy's done really well for the goal and unselfishly squared it. And luckily, I've been there to just uh, tap. Well, that's a good touch from Parkin. And a good ball forward, too. Now, Tipton gets into the box. Tipton with a shot right across there. Morley. Swales. That's well balled down. That's a good run too. There's a chance. Oh, that's a super goal. Tipton the scorer. Good work from Parkin.
Away we go. That ball plays forward. Brought down well by Parkin. Got it. Good footwork. And a shot in there too. Took a deflection, not away yet. Clip back in. Could be a wonderful start of the second half. Oh, and it's cleared away. Desperate stuff here for Yeovil. Not away yet. There's a thunderous shot. And it's in there within seconds. 20 seconds into the second half. It's 2-0. It's Graham Potter, the scorer. And the worst possible start to the second half for Yeovil. Manqua being shadowed by Potter. Cross comes in, there's a header two, there's a chance! Oh my goodness me! Over comes the corner. Lower shot off! Clinical finish. This time there can be no doubt that Potter scored. And it's all over for Yeovil. That's onside. Parkin had to come back and check, but he stayed onside this time. And he's still parking, and still parking. And at the second attempt. I think you call this a goal line clearance. Inspiration. I'm not sure what he clears that with, to be honest. Macclesfield. Taylor's just having a drink, Harsley takes it, chips it in, big John Parkin. Oh, a great effort from John Miles. Parkin did well again, Phil. <laughs> Every time he hits anything over that far side of the ground, the ball, bits fall off. There's going to be nothing left of the ground. Here's Parkin again. Tipton. And that's a goal! What a goal! Well, Phil, credit to... Um, to John Parkin again, Phil. He shielded the ball, shielded it from Griffiths. He got the layoff, and uh, Matthew Tipton's just come in. First strike, left foot. John Parkin, well shielded again, and John Parkin gets a little, uh, a little bit of afters from Grant Holt, but the referee either didn't see it or decided to uh, to let it go. There's Swales now. Now Tipton's away, not offside, oh that's a poor cross, but he gets another chance, and he scores! My word! Lee has it back, and will deliver with his right foot, Rochdale clear, oh that's a great effort! That was Dave Morley, just outside the centre circle on his left foot. So Rochdale need a goal a minute, which I wouldn't think they could do. Now then, go on Tippy. Here's Tippy. Tipton. He's going to try one on his left foot. Brings it back to his right foot. Flicks it to John Parkin. Can Parkin lane through? Oh yes! He's got his hat trick. stuff from Matthew Tipton and what a great little move with John Parkin that was almost as if they were in sync and knew exactly what one another required Smith provided the cross as Crow beat Matt Carragher to the ball defeat is a blow to Macclesfield's automatic promotion hopes it's some support three defenders and another one's coming up and he's having a pop himself oh what a great effort well, the goalkeeper was obviously uh, confident there. Morley with the free kick. Deep into the box, hit it away. Potter tries to get on the end of it, does so. Finds Harsley. A bit of a bug of a pitch. Morley over the top. Headed on, is Miles. Controls right footed. First time shot. Said great uh, conditions for football. No wind. 
Here comes the cross. Ooh. Swales it was trying to get on the end. McKenzie! Oh, what a great effort. And a good save from Harrison. Harrison kicks long. Barris again gets in, gets his head on the ball. Parking. Oh, he's got Tipton away on that right hand side. He's got Carragher in support. Little one is McKenzie! Oh. But it's uh, not too dangerous and it's cleared away. Morley. Popped over the top by Arsley, it's one for Barking, gets a head on it, can you get a foot on it? Yeah! What a great goal! What a great goal! Ball in from Arsley, controlled by Barking on the head, got it round the keeper, right footed, into the far corner. Lockwood on the ball, left footed, McMahon's there with him. Fettis doing his best to see, oh great save! And against the post. What a fantastic save from Fettis. Ooh, this could be trouble for Mike. Lee Steele's got away. They're looking for the offside. Oh, he scored. What a great goal. Tell him to uh, not celebrate too strongly. They were looking for a call from the... Uh, Official on this side, but uh, Lee Steele just drilled it in right-footed. Fettis didn't stand a chance. So, Macclesfield have got a bit to do again now. One all. Oh! Morley over the top. Up the goal, nodded on. Oh, penalty! Must be a penalty. Barking it was, he was just trying to get the ball away and he was pulled to the ground. The referee's been pushed and shoved. Orient not happy about it. Here he comes, Harrison on the line. Oh, baby, baby. Goalkeeper goes the wrong way. Tipton just buries it in the roof of the net. Just what he needed, two goals to one. Seven minutes gone, Macclesfield two, Lake Norrie one. <laughs> Carragher pushes on, 28 minutes gone. Matthew Tipton's on side, he's got John Parkin with him. Harsley's running in the box. Yes! Thank you, good night. Harsley was making the run from midfield. Tipton, sorry, early. The defenders didn't, they came in on the far side of the defence and an easy finish, left footed, third goal of the season. Oh, he's hit the post and he's in! Oh, long run! Molly! Molly gets his first goal for the club. Well, it was the pearl driver, as we thought. Was there. Williams uh, give him the... Park in, left foot in, it's goal! Oh, that's a cup, that's a cup. There it goes. Parkin drills it right footed, hard and low, under the wall, and it goes into Jason White's net, low to his right hand side. Clatters his defender. Mansfield retained possession in the form of Barker. They come into the centre circle, they push on. Big space here for Neil as uh, Phil pulls out, but it's the number 11. Coke who goes on, oh my word! He has a shot. And Wilson went down low, had a bit of a flat. Well, well, I didn't see it, no, me neither. The um, Mansfield have got themselves back in the game again now after that early flurry. It's the ten minutes gone here, and Mansfield are pushing on, looking for this equaliser. Lloyd, he does his burst forward, he's got support with Barker. Oh, dear me, what a terrible goal. Well, what an awful goal. Caleb Lloyd. He'd got Barker as a runner on his right, he had a snapshot. But uh, Mackenzie wins it, Harsley then wins it midfield, gets up, pushes it wide to Tipton, Harsley goes down, caught on the knee, he's still on the ground, but Harkins, uh, Parkins just over by the corner flag, controls the ball, can he get around the defender, get the cross in, here it comes, Tipton, yeah, what a great goal, what a super goal, made by Parkin, finished by Tipton, just flicked on, 
Pistol outstretched, left hand of Jason Wright into the top left hand corner of the goal. Well, and Harsley, Harsley was the number one corner man, wasn't he? But uh, since Boyd's come in, he takes the corners. Knocks it in, Molly! Goal! Wonderful goal, Dave Molly! Oh, that's his second of the season. He scores in consecutive games. Wonderful delivery from Mark Boyd. Nobody picked up, but David Molly. Right. Push on, that's away. 18 yards, needs some support. Harsley's come up with him and Parkin. Little step over. Tippy has a shot. Oh! Harsley nearly. John Miles pushes on, attacks the 18 yard box. Cross for McIntyre, back post. Parkin! Just what they needed. Great delivery. Tipton on his left, Parkin on his right. They need a quick delivery. They're outnumbered. Oh, that's awful. Come on, Paul! Oh, good save. Ah, tap, tap! Oh! Oh, what a great effort from Paul Harsley. That's... Bailey finds Townsend, first real touch. Gets around his defender, good feet, good... Keep giving him more problems. McCoon. Butcher, McCauley all well over six foot. And have these smaller men, the likes of Asamoah. Oh, it's in from McCauley. It didn't need anyone to try and pick up the scraps. Lincoln have the ideal start, and Gareth McCauley has given it to them. It's really picking up. There's no block offs in there, there's no excuses, no one attacks the ball. Still needs finishing from McCauley. Picks his spot from the set piece, right in the corner. Keep the no I feel Macclesfield have got to get it down and try and play. They've got to try and get get it down and play. If they play Lincoln at their game, I think they're going to be second best. Try and get it down and play. Play quickly, nice and early if they can. Take these free kicks quickly. Tipton has done well to elude Morgan. And get his shot away. What a wonderful effort tonight, only by the crossbar. And McIntyre just unable to follow up. Well, that's unlucky from Tipton. McIntyre on the follow-up just can't screw it back in. Nice little bit of tight skill, gets his shot away, off the underside of the bar. Contested it well to stop McIntyre getting it in the... Plenty of bodies committed forward for this. Lofted in by Harsley. Is there a nudge inside the penalty area? Certainly the referee was well positioned to judge. As it's whipped in by Whittaker. Good strike by Whittaker, coming back on his, on his left peg, getting it away with a half volley, good feet. You can see coming back inside, getting his shot away. Asamoa, wonderfully touched away by Alan Fettis. Great save, wasn't it, by Fettis? That was a great save by Alan Fettis. McCauley to McCoon. A nice spin and volley, wasn't it, from Asamoa? Fletcher's corner, rising well for McCauley, he's done it again. Oh, how good is it to have somebody like him in your side? We know what the back four are all about, the back three, voted in, here he is at the far post, and does he get on the back of the defender? It's a terrific header, was it behind? And the linesman gave it, the referee didn't give it, we see it come off the post, certainly looked in, they thought it... Terrific leap at the far post, hinted maybe a push, goes beyond the defender, I think bounces straight over the line, that's clearly in. I don't know why they're complaining about that. The referee couldn't see it, depended on his linesman. Lovely downward header, you see across the line, that has bounced across the line, that is in. Markin and McIntyre sizing things up, Mr Crossley the referee, checking the wall is ten yards back. It will be Parkin, and it's just wide. Well, it's a decent effort from Parkin. Chances for Macclesfield, not just in the second leg, but also a week ago, few and far between. When they do come, they'll have to make them count. And Tipton, very close to doing just that. Fletcher, 